In this video, we're going to learn about the if-else statement in Python. So you make decisions every day, such as what to wear, what to eat, whether to go to school or to work, or what movie to watch on Netflix. And you can make similar decisions in your Python code using branching statements. In programming, a branch is computer code that is executed only if a condition is true. For example, if the date is Friday, then you run the code to send out weekly paychecks to employees. To create a branch, you first specify an if statement followed by a Boolean expression, which is a condition that can either be true or false. If the condition is true, then the branch will execute the indented statements that follow the word if. But if the condition is false, then you can have an else branch that will execute different statements that are also indented. A code block is a series of statements that are grouped together, but be sure to properly indent all code that belongs to an if or an else statement so Python knows which code block belongs to it. Indentations are done usually with one tab or three to four spaces, but you shouldn't mix up spaces and tabs for indentation. And my personal preference is just to use a tab. And also if you're using an IDE like PyCharm, it'll auto indent for you sometimes once you start off the indentation. A nested if else statement is when you have an if else branch within another if else branch. So let's try out some examples of if else branching in Python. All right, let's create some variables. The temperature outside is 85. And let's say that it's raining. Is raining is true. And we can create a branch like this. If temp is greater than say 70, 75. And we'll, as soon as I press enter, notice that it automatically indented for me. We could print wear shorts outside. Else, so this else shouldn't be indented also. It should be out here, lined up with the if. And then we'll say print wear pants outside. Let's run this program and see what happens. Also, something that I'm missing is, you see this little red underscore? That means you have to have colon at the end of your if and at the end of your else. So don't forget the colon. So this is a perfect if-else structure. Let's try it. So it's telling me to wear shorts outside because the temperature is greater than 75. Um, let's make the temperature 65 degrees and now it should tell me to wear pants outside or pants outside and here's a nested if else we could say we could add another if within the if or the else part of an if else branch if is raining and we don't have to check if it's true or false because it's already a boolean variable so it can only be true or false so if that's true we could say print bring an umbrella and the else part is actually optional, so we can add it or not add it, it doesn't matter. But let's just add it in this case, else, forget the colon, we'll print, bring some block. Okay, so we're wearing pants outside because it's only 65, but if it was 95 degrees, we're wearing shorts and bringing an umbrella. But if it wasn't raining, run the program now, when, when, after we set is raining to false, and now we're wearing shorts and bringing sunblock instead of an umbrella. So this is very basic if else statements in Python.